Hey everybody, today we're going to be playing some Kuzumbo. Yeah. Kuzumbo's in a fantastic state right now. Uh, just like he was on the previous map. And we're up against Artemis. Now, nice thing about Kuzumbo is just... His two late game can just reset the cooldowns of his one and three over and over again. Combine that with Bumpus Hammer and you've got infinite cooldowns. Alright, let's go into... Tier 2 Bancrofts into that. And against Artemis, we should probably get beats. So, the Tier 2 Bancrofts is just for enough damage to be able to clear the wave and things. And of course, since we're going Bumbus Hammer, we don't really uh, want to go a starter item. Tier 1 Bumbus doesn't really give good enough stats. Uh, it will next patch. It's getting buffed, but right now it does not. I'm always amazed that they're buffing Bumbus Hammer. It's so insane to me. Um, but yeah, no, this matchup, uh, Kuzumbo does surprisingly well into Hunters. <laughs> I don't know, Artemis, depends on if I get the Bumbas or not. Let's see. She's not coming over here. We could also start red buff, but I like blue buff start when I'm going to the Bancrofts. Yeah, Kuzumbo does well into a lot of gods. Uh, basically just how well he can get the cooldown resets against hunters. It's nice because, you know, they're just like, constantly auto-attacking you. I could try to push her here, but I don't know. Barely gets her into the wave. Let's get our cooldowns back with mannequins. Do not go mannequins into Kuzubo. <laughs> if you are up against a Kuzubo, do not go mannequins because it will give him his cooldowns back so much faster. Or maybe do. Maybe do go mannequins. Really up to you, but I think uh, I think going mannequins uh, is, is bad into Kuzumbo just because you get the cooldowns back so fast. All right, let's buy this. Looks like they're going Ikkabol, which is a really, really strong item. I wonder how many wins I would need on Kuzbo to get the Master Supporter, because I've been winning with him a lot. A lot, a lot. Like, I played him on my stream like three times, and I won pretty much every game, I think. Well, all of them were kind of close. Gonna get my three back, but unfortunately, she's already under tower. Might actually be able to kill her, because she's not level five. Uh, but if she hits level five... Oh, there it is. Yeah, now I can't. However, she's super close to dead. If I hit her with the one, that will slow her, and then I can kind of angle myself with her three, and if she ults, then I can just beat or ult. Nah, that's a little bit too late to canceling that. That's all right. Good stuff. Oh, no, I died. Oh, it's kind of close. Died to the ticking damage from mannequins. That's all good. The thing about Kuzumbo is that he's got a really good early game. And he's got a, like, I want to say with Bumba's Hammer, he's got, like, one of the strongest late games of any of the Guardians I play. Uh, like, late game Kuzumbo is better than late game Ymir by far. Uh, just because Bumba's Hammer, man. And Bumba's Hammer kind of strong, but they keep buffing it, man. They keep buffing it. I don't know why. They could nerf every part about Bumba's Hammer, like the healing, the true damage, uh, even the the stats a little bit, and I'd still probably build it just for the cooldown reset. Like that's that's the the part that makes it so so awesome on like gods like Kuzumbo. Nope, she's a little bit too far away. Could have gone blink first item, but there's always the risk that you fall behind, and you don't want to not have beads against Artemis because of her lockdown. She's a deadly combo of alting, autoing, using the trap, and then you're just taking so much damage. It's just not good. Here's a fun little thing I can do. She's backing. Not anymore. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you gotta stay. You, you better stay. <laughs> and now that you stayed, it's over. Or is it? Unless I missed. Not because I missed. I have enough for my one, but unfortunately she's too far away. She's trying to catch me off with her ultimate, I think. 
but I do have my beats. Too bad I missed those nanes, man. That would have been a nice kill. Come on. Believe in the bounce. Believe in the heart of the bounce. Ah. I kind of... I didn't throw exactly where she was. I was hoping she would walk forward, like trying to dodge it into it. Oh, well. There's no, she doesn't have any traps for me to place or to walk into. Uh, our MP5 is trash, by the way. It's absolutely trash. I probably should have backed. Um, but I'm just going to try to clear at least the melees. Hell, there's a lot of archers here. All right, now we back up. She's going Devo, so we'll probably get a Divine Ruin at some point in our build. Um, let's go... Well, actually, we don't need Breastplate. Midgardian would be fine. The reason we don't need Breastplate is because Bombus Hammer already gives 20%, and then with Power Potion, that's another 10%. It's not... You don't really have to worry about it. You could totally go Breastplate and just not care about the overcapping late game, but I kind of care about it. I figure why do that when I could just build my Guardian instead. Because so I'm building for late game. I'm already doing good. If I was behind, then maybe the Breastplate would be better. Although she is catching up because she's taking all these buffs. I shouldn't be letting her, quite frankly. I might put another point in my two just to get my cooldowns even faster. Because my abilities are already pretty good. I just need to get them faster. If we push her through wave, she pretty much dies. But it's hard to do that when she still has her ultimate and stuff. Oh, unfortunate. Alright, well, if she's just going to stay in tower, we should go take some buffs. Her seal my blue buff is really unfortunate because I, I need that MP5, you know. Now she's going to take that. She actually has all three buffs right now. Good for her. All right, let's get mid guardian. That'll hopefully help a little bit against the bow build. Bow build's kind of annoying. It's being built on every single hunter. Uh, but why wouldn't you, right? It just gives you literally everything you need. I think I should try to stop her back here. So I have my all. Crazy idea, but just go for a demon king, man. She's just gonna back. If she comes over here, then I kill her. I can't take it as fast as someone with mannequins, but I can still take it decently fast enough. But Artemis doesn't have too much mobility. I can probably scare it with my ultimate as well. If that becomes an issue. I'm just going to stand the two. Give a little bit more damage. Alright, now let's go into... We can go Typhons, but let's get to Vine Rune first. Again, we're having some mana issues, which is problematic. Looks like she's going for my blue buff. Or is she? Or is she? Nope. Dang, she's actually kind of fast right now. Good kills, good kills. Uh, looks like a red buff has just came up. Which I can take that, but I also want to do a little bit of damage to the tower. Yeah, we just have so many minions. This is so much damage. Go, Kubenzo. Yeah, I definitely get this, but I can try to turn around on her, reset my cooldowns, use my beads, 
Nah, I was too... A little bit too late on that, but that's okay. If I beats right away, I probably would have been able to turn immediately. That's kind of what I was saving my beats for, but I was still too late on it. Uh, let's go get red buff before we leave, I think. I'm just going to go through this way. We are going to be out of mana, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Mana might be a problem in the late game. Could always consider a Book of Thoth. It's kind of weird to do, but... I, I think I'll probably just end up selling my health chows for mana chows once we get Bumpus Hammer online. Stuff like that. I don't think my 3 will clear, so I'm just waiting for enough mana for my 1. Man, the, and the next wave's already here. I'm actually going to lose tower here. I stayed for way too long, taking red buff and then trying to clear the wave. Should have just backed immediately. Because, yeah, our MP5 is just trash right now. That's okay. Losing tower is not, big, not a big deal. Let's go blink. And also... Let's see. What, what, what's some good MP5 items we could get even if we do want something like that? Maybe a Rod of Tootie. Yeah, she's kind of fast right now. And she uses, does that. That's okay. Rav Tutti is always nice. I still want Typhons though. Bancroft's Typhons is just so good on Kuzumbo. Especially when her opponent's not even going anti heal. Like, you, you gotta go anti heal. Well, I guess not only against Bancroft. Once I get Typhons, she'll probably get it. She does not have a ward, so. She's not really placing ward on that. She's just taking the minis. I can actually hear her slightly. I say we should get some wards ourselves. You know, I'm 3 and 1, but she's been able to stay right in this game because, uh, you know, kind of just playing it safe. Could go Polly. I don't build Polly enough. People, people always asking me why I'm not going Polly. Oh, she went for Demon King. I genuinely i mean yeah uh <laughs> my 4 hp tower disabled by demon king uh i really don't mind obviously because it's tower but the, I, what that mostly does is that that means now she can sit in phoenix so i might have to xp deny I, it's not fun to do but uh I, I really don't have any pressure to do anything anything else oh she didn't even recall I thought she was by her phoenix. Instead, she's pushing the wave. Again, losing tower doesn't matter. I need to get her on my side of the map, basically. Or at least by the wave or something. I don't know, she's just, she's just playing safe, fair enough. I mean, no reason not to, right? With Demon King down, there's no risk to just playing back. Alright, let's start recalling. We got a red buff. Um, her blue buff actually just came up. Instead, I'm going to try to blink over the wall to steal this. Oh, don't hit me, minions. Oh, she got that, really? I don't have much mana, so this is kind of a bad idea. Man, I thought I would secure that for sure with the ultimate. She does have shoguns now. She's getting a lot of attack speed. We're one step closer to getting our... Our Bumba's Hammer, though. You want to start saving for Bumba's Hammer around level 18. I, f I find that that's usually uh, the, the good spot. Once you start saving around there, then uh, when you're level 20, you'll have just enough to buy Bombus Hammer. Most of the time. It depends, of course. There might be coppers around these parts. And she's getting these. She's doing everything she needs to. She's getting these buffs like on cooldown. Sucks that I let her get that Demon King. I just really didn't think she would go for it. But obviously with Mannequins, you can take a Demon King in like two seconds. So 
That's always a problem. Still really even game. Really even game. Where is she? I think if I stand here, you can still get the XP and gold from the wave, but they can't see you. Oh, my ult didn't go off. Polly? Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. And we still have some minions, which is nice. Okay, I don't know if I can take Phoenix. Having Polynomicon is nice. I haven't been building it too much, so that definitely helps with taking objectives. All right, let's back up because Phoenix will definitely kill us. We have seven seconds. Let's auto cancel the three. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. She also has this chalice, which means I should probably start getting a little, like, some sentries and stuff. Whoops. <laughs> Just gonna clear the wave with that bounce. There's no way she can stop my back, but she does get red buff, which I'm perfectly fine with. Alright, we're level 21, or level 18. I can start getting Bumba's Hammer, but also, uh, we're at the bottom end of level... 18 so it's like might as well get a tier 2 item as well because I can't forward full rod of 2d or anything like that I guess we're not gonna go for the typhons I'm, I opted for the polynomicon over that. I still want rod of 2d Like she doesn't have any anti-heal which makes me want to go it but eh. all right here we go Oh, she still got that wow but I think I can kill her here. Holy moly. It's like, maybe I shouldn't. I probably could have killed her, but two things are going through my mind. A, if she kills me, that could be my phoenix right which is a really risky thing if i kill her it could be game but i mean she might just respawn in time anyways and also b i kind of want to get bumpus hammer <laughs> bumpus hammer is fun so yeah i like started going back in but i was like i better not if i die here uh losing phoenix could be in really bad so n not losing phoenix is good dang she also healed the full health just with the with everything. I think she's actually pretty... She's pretty deadly right now. It's mostly because I don't have my cooldowns yet. I get my cooldowns from Bumba's Hammer. Let's get blue buff. That'll help us. Blue buff will help us. All right, we still need two levels, but we're going to save our gold. Maybe I could probably upgrade beads. Yeah, upgrade beads is a good idea here. It's kind of our lifeline for now, as well as our ultimate. Yeah, I was underestimating her a bit. She actually can fight really well uh, for now. <laughs> for now. I think it changes once I get Bumba's. Just one more level. One more level. She is going the double defense, but Bumba's does do true damage. So, again, not too worried about that anyways. Oops. She obviously has the range advantage as well. I should probably sell uh, Polly for Typhon's Fang uh, as well. Just to kind of punish her for not going anti-heal. That's her bees. 
Damn, she got her Phoenix up. She's healing a ton. With just Devos, man. Just Devos. I just need half another level. Half another level. Yeah, selling Polly for Typhons would be better too because she did go the double defense, so it'll give us more pen. I try to blink here, push her into the wave. Okay, and she's out. Which means we can get a red buff, which is good. Please tell me my Nene chases her. No. <laughs> that would have been funny. Now we're level 20. Alright, you guys ready? You guys ready what we've been waiting for? It's funny, because every time I try to record a Kuzumbo game, I almost never get a uh, Bumbus Hammer online. The game, like, I usually... I, I, I don't mean to put it this way, but I usually do win before level 20. <laughs> or, I mean, every now and then I just get steamrolled, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, no, I, I love the, the infinite nanes, basically. We'll actually have infinite nanes once I get uh, Power Potion and pick up Blue Buff. Or if I get another item with 10% cooldown, such as Soul Gem. So I could sell poly for soul gem instead of typhons as well but eh oh she snuck demon king again doesn't matter doesn't matter yeah right now we don't have the full cooldown effect so it's not going to be as prominent but it's still going to be pretty damn noticeable pretty damn noticeable i said do we want the typhons for the pen and the healing or do i want the soul gem for the cooldowns. <laughs> yeah. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, it's way better when you have actual all 40% cooldown because I only have 20 right now. I hit her with Bumbas eight times <laughs> for 640 damage. Although, can I even end? I should be able to end, but maybe I can't. I think I gotta clear, clear the minions. And that's game gg i hope you guys enjoyed that game uh even though i'm five and one the if you looked at the gold and xp throughout the game it was actually super close throughout the entire game because she was able to get so many buffs and stuff uh but yeah fun game overall uh thank you guys all for watching i do appreciate that and if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what uh what god you'd like me to play in the future and here are the game stats. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.